Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 8 of Let's Play Golden Sun Dark Dawn. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, we open the gate thanks to the card that we just won from the Synergy Training Grounds. So now we have to go through this little canyon over here. Doesn't look like there's much else to get other than to get to the ruins itself. Also, here are a couple new enemies. We got Hobbles and we got Wolfkin Cubs. Hobbles are basically like stronger goblin-like creatures. Not only will they sometimes heal themselves with herbs, but they'll use smoke bombs. Smoke bombs just make it easier for your attacks to be dodged. Luckily I got everybody's weapons uh, mastered, so we're good there. It'll make our damage output pretty strong. Especially getting two unleashes in a row. That ain't bad either. Alright, so here are the Kampa Ruins right here. This place looks pretty ancient. I thought that was a wheel. Oh, I see a chest. And I see a spider. Spiders are flammable, right? Oh, by the way, because of leveling up, Tyrell now has Mad Blast. But I think just Blast would be enough. Okay, never mind. We don't need you, Tyrell. You can go home now. <laughs> but there's a chest over there. There's a puddle of water. But I can't do anything with it. Because none of us have the ability to freeze? Hold on. Uh... No, that's not gonna work. If we trade... No... This prism... But that's not Frost. Frost is the move you need in order to make puddles turn into ice pillars. So I'm guessing we can't even go there yet. We'll come back later. Can I read this? Within this place, we celebrate the gift of Synergy and pay homage to the natural world for its rich bounty. How thoughtful. What about this glyph? Can I read that? The glorious power held within these hallowed halls will be released again when the world once more has need of it. Hmm. Interesting. Can I just go in here? The tablet here reveals a higher truth. To decipher its ancient glyphs, fit the four petals of wisdom into their places. Okay, I see what I gotta do here. I suppose this pedal gotta go in this hole. But there's only one block. Oh, I, I definitely can't read that. Um, I think I need to find some more blocks and bring them in this room. I can't go up these stairs because they're not stairs. I'm going here. Okay, it looks like everything revolves around the big room that I was just in. So once I get a lot of stuff done, I can't do anything with that. Alright, I guess we're just gonna have to go the other way. Encounter rate is actually really good here. Like, for a place like this, where there's, like, a huge puzzle, it should be really sensible. Seems like this is supposed to be a button, but it doesn't do anything. Alright, this looks like an important room. When the orb moves into place, the power of Earth shall be released, revealing the way forward. Moves into place... 
So I'm guessing I just put it in this hole. Like this. Hey, I did it. What exactly did that do? Okay. I think it activated some things. It's also lit up in here. And I don't mean like the cool, but the kind of lit that you guys, cool kids, say. Open that door. And that door. And that door! Why did you need like three sets of doors if one mechanism operated all three? That seems a bit excessive, don't you think? Wasted architecture design. Also, there are zombies here. Hit him with a blast, Tyrell. Ooh, the zombie's still alive. Okay, that's pretty cool. It just goes back into the earth. <laughs> and then just pops up in its original position. Might seem like a waste of time, given you can just jump back. But hey, whatever floats your boat. I think I'm supposed to move that over here. Okay, that's what I need to do. And then you gotta move this over here. So that should reveal more platforms. There's also a synergy stone over there. I should take advantage of that when I get the chance. Provided I can actually get over there. Like, I really like games like this that are not just, like, go from point A to point B and just fight your way through with, like, nothing inspiring going on like Quest 64 did. I did like Quest 64, but the lack of puzzles was definitely a miss. Like, this game has a lot of them. Like, it really tests your ability to think. And I like games like that. Can I get to the stone from here? No. I have to approach from the other side. Fair enough. I might as well use it because it's there. Use cure well. Oh, it only works on one person. Then I'm better off just using cure. I don't think we're at the point where cure well is actually helpful yet. I don't think any of us are even at 150 HP. So now we can go back through here. It's too bad you had to only go around the long way. There's no shortcuts. I think all the rooms connect at some point to lead us back to the uh, atrium, so to speak. I think if I press this. Okay, I'm on the other side of that other room now. Okay, that's the uh, other pedal. So we gotta push it down the hole in order for it to get, be in the same room with the flower. Boom, we did it. But we still need to find two more blocks. So it looks like... Oh, we can activate this too. I forgot about that. And that's what opens the stairs. Cool. Oh yeah, this place is looking a lot more open now. Because of the things we've been doing. Also, I think I should use Whirlwind over here. I can't. Seems like I should be able to. Maybe I'm not supposed to stand there. Alright, well I guess I'm just gonna have to leave it alone for now. Oh, no. 
another spider, really? You really want to risk it for the biscuit? I mean, I'm thankful you get rid of mosquitoes, but come on, we're not mosquitoes. And some of us got, like, terrible fear of spiders. I mean, I saw in the movie Arachnophobia, that scene where the spider actually got in the football player's sneaker, and then when he put it on, he got bit and died instantly, pretty much. When the orb feels the breeze, the power of wind shall be released, strewing us trail of blossoms. Oh gee, I wonder what I'm supposed to do here. Alright, time to blow on this orb. And it just makes petals appear. Oh, that's how you activate these things. I think I'm supposed to use them in order to get across. Okay, I see what I need to do. Let me hit these. And let me hit these. And I can't be too slow, otherwise I'll go back down. There we go. Now I can get over here. Oh, there's treasure too. Okay, I think I know what I need to do to get that. That's three there. And then I gotta hit those three. That's how you get the treasure. Elven shirt. Ooh, that seems pretty cool. It's better than the travel vest, and it boosts agility. Um, whose agility is awful? You know what? I think it should go to Karis, because, you know, the faster a healer is, the better. That would make a lot of sense to me. Also, I need to hit those glyphs again, so I can push that pillar down. I think I need to do that next. Hmm. Let's think about this for a moment. Okay, I know where this needs to go. I need to move this pillar over here next. Hit these first, because I can get to them earlier. And then I'll hit these, so I can get to the other pillar. Okay, that should do it. Bring this one down here too. Consuming a nice bit of synergy doing this though. Like there's definitely a lot of work that needs to be done when it comes to this room alone. too slow. Oh. And there. We did it. We're free of this room. Oh, you only just need to stand in the there to make that lift be active. I thought you had to use Whirlwind on it. Kind of glad you don't have to. Makes it faster. Now we're on the third floor. Is this going to go straight down to the flower room? Yes! And then the stone shatters and we can't solve the puzzle anymore. That would have been hilarious. Okay, that again here at some point. 
Well, that's where I came from. Alright, I'll go back down. And I think I have to use this platform now. This is a cool dungeon. I like it. Alright, and that's the uh, third final block. But there's also more to the ruins, like in the main room. And we're not able to access it, apparently. Like over here, for instance. Am I supposed to do something else? Hold on. What is... I've seen this block, too. Oh, you know what? I bet you if I, um... What if I hit it with a fireball? Nothing. Maybe I'm supposed to have finished the puzzle over here, and then something like that stone will activate. Okay, process of elimination. Put this over here. I have a feeling if you put it in the wrong slot. Let's see what happens. I guess it just won't fit in. Okay, like, this is not even a hole. It's almost like a lift that goes right down. I guess that helps, because, like, what if you put it in the wrong slot? Did, would it pop out? Okay, that's doing something. If you wish to awaken the guardian of the glyphs with slumber, climb up to her lap. Then wait upon her hands. Oh, I can climb up here now. The hands are over there, too. I still can't read that. Maybe we need, like, somebody else to come here to read that for us? Little ones, I have awaited your arrival. I hold the key to ancient secrets and now desire to give it unto you. Do you wish to possess these ancient secrets? Why would I say no? Very well. You who are so willing and worthy, I bestow upon you the lost words of my kind. Ooh, a book. It has nothing on it. Ah, I was reading that. I was reading that nothing. So this is how you learn language in this game. Yay, a glyph book. All right, now get off me. <laughs> All right, now that we got the glyph book, I suppose we can read these now. Oh, fit through the damn thing. Hey! This tablet has strange writing on it. These are ancient glyphs, aren't they? Yes! Now that you have that book, I bet you can read the glyphs, Matthew. Uh, I gave the book to you! You read it! Yeah! Take a look at them, Matthew. When the four statues point to the center, they will send the flowers skyward. Four statues point to the center. Well, this one's pointing north. 
So obviously we just need to put them in these little squares. And this one gotta go in this slot. That one's a little too easy though. I kinda like Golden Sun puzzles, but I, to be fair, like within the first half of the game, the puzzles are gonna be super easy. And they do have to be accessible for pretty much anyone of all ages. This should take us further up. Hopefully I can still get those chat that chest over there. Alright, now we're on the fourth floor. Let's try this way. It's gonna take us outside. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Can't do anything with that yet. That looks like something of importance. Hold on. Is this gonna take me back down? What if I step on this? It opens that way. What's in here? This gate is locked. Lucky for me, I can just walk around it. The Grip Crystal! The Grip Crystal can be used only by Earth Adepts. Equip it to gain Grip Synergy. Those who take this relic must prove their worth by escaping this room using its power. Oh, okay. I knew there was a catch. So it can only be equipped to Earth Adepts? Here, uh, Tyrell, you want to hold this? So I can get this from Karis? There. Now I have grip active. Um, let's see. I'm going to assign that to a shortcut. Alright, what does this say? Grip power can pull you across gaps. Latch onto a point to bridge the distance. That sounds easy to understand. Alright, let me read this one. The grip power can grab light objects and bring them to you. Maybe it has something to do with that uh, gemstone. Oh, it's kind of like a hook shot. Got this now. The stone key. Oh gee, I wonder where I fit it. <laughs> Tyrell just tries to put it in like straight and doesn't even turn it at an angle. see why we can't just climb down here. Like, it's not even that tall! Like, we can easily just, like, latch on to it with our hands. Okay, I do see a Jupiter Ginny over there. But you know what? I think this is a good time to stop here, and in the next episode... Well, actually, I should save first. In the next episode, we'll continue on through the Confa Ruins. See you, everybody. Thanks for watching.